Take two. Six AM vibes. I think they saw six AM quite a few times. That's all right. That's all right. Um, putting together this team, sitting next to me, a junior from UC Riverside, computer engineering, Gustavo Carrera. Center stage, a junior from NYU, computer science and music technology, Mr. Jay Sosa. And lastly, a senior from the Florida Institute of Technology and Computer Engineering degree about to happen for Mr. Chris Woodle. This is 6 a.m. Vibes. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so we just want to say thank you to Red Bull for uh, you know connecting all of us together. Uh, we, we shared a vision, just like Red Bull had to connect like 50 students from across the nation. Uh, and so our vision was to connect people together. So today we're going to be presenting Connect Forward, and that's our project for today. Um, and so we, we came in with a vision, as shared with Red Bull, to connect people together. Um, and so for me personally, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big raver. I go to fun raves. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, a couple of DJs for about uh, for the judges, so I'm definitely there as an audience member, trying to, uh, I'm always experiencing the music, the visuals, the lights, the, the pulses and stuff like that. So uh, for me, that's really big, just feeling the music. Um, and so what, what we wanted to create was some type of platform uh, so that uh, people could uh, come to collaborate, uh, just have people do at raves, how like sometimes you're right next to each other like this. You know, you talk to new people and you dance and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe bring that from raves and apply it somewhere else, right? Uh, somewhere we're going to apply it anywhere, not just in a rave experience, but whether in like a public, uh, in a public area, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an environment like this, uh, whatever it be, just have that interpersonal connection. Um, and so now, as since since digital music is and technology is shifting more towards like technology and more towards electronics, sometimes we lose focus of like an interpersonal connection. Uh, sometimes there's like a boundary between just the performer and like the audience member, right? And so what we want to do is maybe like fuse that together so that the audience member can also like uh, feel like a part of the. Uh, experience and stuff like that with the performers. And so what, what we created for, for today was, uh, was a human sequencer. Um, and what it is, it's like a sequencer. And so for those that, that, that don't know what a sequencer is, um, a, typically a sequencer is like a grid of, 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 of squares, right? And so each, yeah, so basically it's based off time, right? So each column represents like a moment in time. So a beat, so boom, 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 boom. Um, and what it is, is that each, uh, there would be a note uh, playing on each part of time, uh, as you see here. Uh, so we'll be doing a demo in a little bit. Uh, but basically what this does, it brings people together to collaborate. Um, and we're using some pretty cool technology, some uh, computer vision, using the Connect 4 up above um, to process everybody's locations. Um, and so we'll do a little demo right now, actually. Um, so to start off, um, what we have already right now is we have the grid uh, right here on the right side um, and that's basically tracking our positions from the top view using the connect. Um, and so we're, we're using that information, processing it through a uh, software and now putting the, the music and the visuals through this uh, application that we have here. And so now what we have here already is we have a platform where we can connect four people at a time to the platform, right? And so if I move over here, you know, I'm another note. If I move over here, I'm another note. And so already, as you can see, we have a platform to connect. You know, I get to talk to you. Like, hey, dude, I want some more bass, right? So like, like, like right, go over there, right? Yeah. Or like, you can tell me, hey, I want some more hi-hat or whatever, and like, you go wherever it is, right? And so just like this, you're, you're creating music, you're collaborating, and you're always bouncing off of people's ideas as you go along. Um, and so with that, uh, we have a cool activity that we want to do with you guys. We actually want to invite you guys to like be part of this presentation. Um, and maybe we can have a judge come up here and be part of it. Maybe the trainer right here, right? Awesome, yeah. Come on, Chuck. Oh, Maybe like the Shaky, Shaky, you want to come up here? Shaky, Shaky, And so the purpose of this is to show you guys like, uh, uh, is to show you guys uh, the seamlessness uh, of this. Uh,
Yeah, this platform. Um, and so just to give you guys a little demo, what we're at, we're going to change the sound effect to a different sound pack that um, the sound engineer created. Um, and so what it is, one, one person has to be on each column at a time, right? So one person on this column. Yes. Yeah. Feel free to look like uh, towards the, the screen. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to kind of talk about some of the implementation here. Um, on the left side, you're seeing uh, our uh, kind of you know end user user facing AI, yeah, which is the actual sequence of running. Uh, on the right side is a, a view of what the actual connect sensor up here is doing. Um, so the way the way this uh, system is set up, uh, if, you're not, if you're not familiar, uh, it's, a, it's a specialized camera from uh, the Microsoft Xbox. Uh, and the way it works is it is a combination of uh, regular uh, you know, full color image processing along with, uh, it creates an infrared dot map um, to measure depth. Um, so what it's checking right now is it's actually looking straight down and figuring out how far away every single pixel is. In this case, you're noticing that uh, all these red blobs are things that are tall. Uh, so in theory, you could use uh, things other than people. If I had like, a tall lamp, uh, the lamp would also play a note. Uh, so that, the, the Gustavo is our, our, our lead uh, computer vision algorithm expert here. So he developed the, the connect algorithm for that. Um, uh, Jay, Jay developed the, uh, the, the MUI and uh, the actual sequencer and the sounds. Uh, and I worked as kind of the integrator, um, basically connecting that web UI to the backend processing application um, using several uh, kind of restful uh, integration techniques. Just to bounce off um, what Gustavo kind of started off our presentation with, just kind of our whole uh, main mantra of just why we kind of created this, not necessarily as the most functional and maybe not the most beautifully useful instrument, but because it's so easy to learn, like because you can physically um, see yourself moving on screen and see like your location tracking, you're able to understand the layout of the instrument very well since it's just in an XY grid and you're able to see the dots flash and you're able to see your kind of body of movement. So it's very accessible and very easy for people to kind of just go up to this instrument and just kind of look at it and kind of understand what's going on. So I, at least for me, um, when I'm playing music, um, I see music as a very nostalgic thing. I always feel very nostalgic when I like, listen to music or uh, perform sometimes. And so when I first performed our instrument, I just remembered like one time um, kind of going into a sound museum and when those um, like large piano tiles were just on the floor and you'd be able to kind of step on the keys and like you'd be able to play melodies like um, Heart and Soul with your friends. Um, it just kind of reminded me of that and like an installation like this can be kind of something like um, displayed at like a museum and something for young, old people who might not understand music for the advanced musicians to all really appreciate and be able to kind of collaborate with other people and create a beat or create a melody based on whatever sound packs or whatever kind of MIDI files you upload. So, um, at the, at least, don't hold me to this, but I believe at the end of this whole show, um, some of the projects will be um, available for people to come up and just test out. So, kind of a challenge I want the audience to do is maybe like make a few new friends in the audience and invite them up here and like get a group of four and maybe see what type of beat you can create or what type of melody and just like kind of just talk with people and see what you can create using this technology. So basically, I think um, your question was, um, what is actually triggering the sound? Like, are you like stomping on something, or is it physical move, like the physical being of being on the square? So um, Chris, like, wonderfully animated. Um, you see how on the grid on the left, you have the shaded red box, basically moving, kind of showing like time, like a constant clock showing beats one, two, three, four. And so depending, it checks each row whether there is a like a person on which column, and based on whether there's a person or not, it will trigger that sound based on being that based on that person's location. So um, yeah, and like, they're showing depth effect, and so I, I guess kind of kind of to build off of this technology, possibly if we wanted to make it more robust, we could um, integrate making chords. Like we could, few people could 
to get in one column instead of one person who owns one column. We can create chords, or we can make the depth effect more robust by squatting, or maybe jumping and having a larger surface area being detected, maybe changing amplitude, or completely having a rest if you're completely out of the picture and not being detected. So these are just kind of some possibilities that maybe moving forward with this and making a course more um, sophisticated sound library, so it's not just some um, kind of just a little derpy uh, drum loop right here that I created, but just kind of just moving forward, there's like some ideas that could possibly be explored for this. Thank you very much. Thank you.